I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. County Councilor is going to be absent today. Uh, you have a hearing. FIBA? Yes. Is here? Okay. Did everybody have a chance to see the minutes from... Now, are those separate minutes from the... Uh, from the morning session for the uh, canvassing. canvassing, were they separate from the other? So we um, it's all right there together. Um, second page is going the second page kind of starts the actual afternoon meeting. Yes. I, I didn't know whether we needed third. to be separated out into two. Oh, I, it doesn't matter. I mean, it, yeah. if, if it, it, when it goes into the book, it's one yeah. consecutive right after the other. Okay. So Sorry. this would be perfect for that. Okay. That's mm -hmm. the only question I had whether that needed to be separated out. I moved the for the minutes is presented. I second that, Mr. Chairman. It's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Pass through zero. Okay. Uh, public comment. You have some public comment or you here for I'm just here for observation. Oh, okay. Uh, Commissioner of Comments and Committee Reports. Bill, do you have any? I went to Project Concern at Effingham out there. We ate lunch and met some of the patrons. <clears throat> Had very positive remarks made by, well, there was probably 12 or 15 uh, people from the community. I think they're regulars. Uh, and then uh, we got approved, which I think is going to be a good thing, from KDOT to 80-20 share on a minivan that can be used to transport people to their doctor's offices or things like that at a very minimal charge to the customer and then KDOT will basically make up the difference. It's not a profit making thing but it's, I think it's a very good service that we're going to add to that account. So they want to go to KU Med? Include out of now this is not a transfer of patient. This no. is just like go to a doctor's appointment or yeah. St. Joe or not emergent. Now it's not going to be take them to Walmart or take them out to eat or something that's going to be more medically. Mm -hmm. uh, well, good. I think I, I, and then we won't have to use the big buses to the, you know take one person. Yeah. So I think that's a positive. Uh, the books are looking good. Stephanie continues to do a good job. Getting things in order, more business like. And that's all I have. Yeah. Well, I was at the Kansas Association of Counties last week along with Commissioner Noel and uh, several different department heads either were down there for the whole time or they were down there just for certain types of events. Very informative, lots of ways to help improve uh, better government. Um, a lot of sharing between other commissioners. Sometimes the coffee breaks you actually learn more about the challenges and some of the ideas of fixing them um, than you do actually in the seminars themselves. But it was uh, well worth the two days. And I was a little tired when I got home, but it, it was definitely worth the two days. Okay. Uh, again, I, I went to KAC also. I had numerous breakout sessions. Some of them... Uh, Talking about strategic planning, uh, another one on social media, um, valuing property for tax purposes, um, set in on KCAMP, uh, KWORKS uh, legislative statement reviews, and had numerous breakout sessions with, or, and coffee breaks with other commissioners, and the networking is, to me, the most valuable that I, I get out of it. Um, and I think it's very, very well attended. Next year, it's going to be a month earlier, so it's going to be hard for me to commit uh, because it's going to be in the middle of my harvest season. So we'll have to see how that pans out. Uh, then Thursday night, when I got home from KAC, then I had an ECAP meeting in Hiawatha. Um, nothing really new to report. Uh, just done more board training, uh, updates on programs and services. Um, everything seems to be functioning as normal. Uh, then uh, Friday afternoon, I met with Representative Epley in Topeka. 
Um, he had invited one of the commissioner to come down. Um, we went to a revisor's board meeting, which basically is trying to, uh, he was interested in getting, helping the counties with a lot of structure critical bridges to maybe get some more funding. So it was attended by members of KDOT, uh, different departments in Topeka and uh, had, we spoke, we talked for an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, it, it was very informative and a very good learning experience for me. And I want to thank Dr. Epley for uh, giving me that opportunity. So that's all I have. And next we'll be ready for Melissa. Come on up. Uh, we had a taxpayer, David Green, apply for disaster relief because his house, I believe you guys have the original up there, um, caught on fire on January 14th of 2017. And our, our valuation date, of course, is January 1. So we set his value on January 1. Um, but we do have a, a statute. KSA 7-9-16-13, that allows a taxpayer to apply for uh, an abatement of their taxes in the event of um, a disaster such as a fire. And this, this individual has uh, made application for that. Is that prorated out? So if it would happen halfway through the year, they would be prorated um, to the six months? They, they do have, um, it, if it happens after a certain date, then um, they can get a credit on future years uh, taxes if it happens. Um, I have the statute right here. That's pretty good damage. Mm -hmm. And there's a few more if you wanted to see them. Sure. If it occurs after January 1, but prior to August 15, they can apply for an abatement. But if it occurs after, on or after August 15, but prior to January 1 of next year, they can apply for a credit. Um, it's it's up to the, the county commissioner as far as as far as proration goes. If if somebody, for instance, lived in their house up until August first and then it caught fire, uh, it's it's really this uh, abatement or credit is up to the discretion of the county commissioners. Um, on how how they feel, um, it's you know deserving of an abatement in, in its entirety. Or in, in some cases, for instance, if a um, if a tornado wipes out a whole town, like you remember Greensburg, mm -hmm. oh. um, I don't think that town could have afforded to grant an abatement for taxes to all those homeowners that lost their house because that was a lot of their tax base. So uh, the commissioners are, weren't under an obligation to grant that that abatement or that refund, uh, but they can. Is this and the first we, time we've had this? This is our first one that I know of that we've ever received. I know that you had... Uh Talk to me about the form and and one of yeah, the form approved. Yeah, we didn't actually have our own form, so I, I took the, the template that they had as an example. Uh, the state passed out an example, and I created the form that he filled out. Um, so yeah, so this must so be that has a resident value and a land value. So we yeah, well, our um, he does he didn't put the value on there. Uh, we is there a place on that form for us to put the? Yeah, no, there, there isn't actually. No. This particular house, um, he submitted his insurance paperwork um, that 
indicates what the replacement cost would be to rebuild the house. Our value on the structure was 62850 So what it amounts to, an abatement of the taxes on the structure, would be using last year's NOAA because I don't, don't really know what this year's NOAA is. Um, $1,230.40 for the taxes on the house. That's based off the 62000 or what actual... Okay. And uh, one of the things that... Uh, one of the requirements that has to be met in order to be qualified for the abatement is it, it does have to be a homestead. It can be rented out. It doesn't have to be uh, the taxpayer's homestead, mm -hmm. but it does have to be a homestead. Uh, and it does have to be uh, at least 50% destroyed in order to meet the qualifications for being eligible for this abatement. So there's no inference that this is going to be rebuilt. The, the gentleman that owns the property indicated that he was that he has no plans to rebuild it. Okay, so there's no expectation that this would encourage it to be rebuilt or anything. This is just. Well, a, I mean, you you can rebuild and still get the abatement. There's okay. there's no requirement there in you know one way or the other. But just because they get this, what I'm saying is that somebody would say, well, there might have been an expectation on him to to yeah, rebuild no. if there's no ties. No. Okay, no. that's just what I'm clarifying. Yeah. Is it would since we haven't done this before, and I'm not saying he's not deserving. I'm just playing questions here. Of would this be setting a new precedent um, for us? Or I mean, I know people aren't going to be burning their houses down to do it, but can you see anything when you look down? Would this be setting opening a new avenue? I guess. And well, the the only. Things that are eligible for, for this are if it was a, an event that is declared a, a disaster by the governor of Kansas, you know, like a tornado or a flood, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. Or it could be a tornado or a flood or some other type of storm damage or a fire or an earthquake that, that wasn't declared a disaster. But those are the events that would make it eligible. And you can't really control, I mean, you could sit your house on fire. But, you know, if, if somebody was, was highly suspected of setting the house on fire, right. you guys would probably say no to that. Request. That was going to be one of my questions. Was it investigated? And would we give a, uh, if it was proven that it was arson, arson that we would deny it? I mean, do we yeah, you have every right to deny any application. So everyone will be coming up. It will be its own it's case. It's an individual application. Okay, that right. makes me feel better because, you know, yeah. you, if you just open a, a door and it's a pass-through, you know, I would have, you know, that's the reason I'm asking questions about it. Right. right. Well, like it's the one that the uh, county fire department was set, not his be. Well, that's, yeah, that's, uh, he wasn't asking for no. taxes back. No. Just to take it off the tax. He just wanted to go off the taxes because, well, he was going to tear it down on his own or, yes. or have it burnt down this well, year. That's different. Yeah, yeah, that's a different story. So, I don't know. What do you guys think on this? Well, I'd make a motion to update the, uh, appraised value of the structure, which is 69000 let me interject that really the appraised value is as of January 1, so I do not change my appraised value. You abate the taxes. Okay, so to abate the taxes on 1200 what's the amount? It's an estimate because I don't have this year's mill levy, but the estimate is um, $1,230. For approximately an estimated $12,030. Sure. Should this be applied after the place is cleaned up? Because I don't, if I was a neighbor, I wouldn't want to look at a half burned out house. For Would this be applied to when it's cleaned up? That's you know, the that, start that, off date? That could be. Is it cleaned up? I haven't been by I, I actually spoke to the taxpayer himself, and he's kind of waiting for your decision before the cleanup process is started. He's 
kind of getting it from the city as well. Um, but he's wanting to make sure he can get a decision before he starts cleaning it up. <coughs> so he doesn't want to hinder your decision. One way or the other, he wants you to see the damage that is there. And well, I think the photographs have made it clear yeah. of, of the damage. And, and I think that's a good point because well, we have nuisance ordinances and, and things in place to take care of this. I would hate for dollars just to be handed over and then having to turn around and get that. Right. Okay. I wish this is where I would like Pat to be here to see if there was anything that we could. Like if you can do a contingent upon. Well, I would have been my emotion to say contingent on payment and contingent of the <laughs> property of the structure being removed. Clean yeah, up. yeah, if that's, uh, if that's something we do. So we give the $1,230 if the structure is removed. If with a property clean, property well, clean. Well, now, is that the full year or is that going to be prorated? Or? It's, since the, the valuation date is January 1, and it burned down just right after the January 1, if it were on, on the tax roll, um, you know, we would only be talking a few days' worth of taxes. 14, two weeks. Yeah. Date damage is right. one talking about right. So it's just as easy to abate the taxes for the entire year since it happened. So close to the valuation date. Now, if it were, were to have happened uh, like August first, no. then I would say, yeah, you might just want to abate it from okay. August first to the end of the year, because they had the enjoyment of okay, yeah, of a fully intact property. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, I'd like to table this to next week. We have county council here because I would like to have something put in there about uh, when it's cleaned up. Yeah, when the site is cleaned up, then we will. That could be part of your process. Yes. That could be part of your procedure. So you have to make a motion to the table. That's what I just did. No, I made a motion. I'll, to I'll second the motion to the table. Okay. How next one? Did you uh, rescind your first motion? Well, the viewers' table is the It's never been seconded, okay. so all we have to do yeah, is rescind. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Put that on the agenda if you would, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's been moved and seconded to. Uh, Table that most first motion. Okay, I will be in class next week, uh, but I don't have to be here. You, this is you know up to you guys to discuss. Okay, this is probably. I think the consensus is that it's deserving of the abatement. The process of how to get there that would be more of a, a councilor problem. I think. So uh, we will take it up, and uh, we haven't voted yet. All in favor, say aye. 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 All opposed. Same sign, pass three zero. And do you need this back, or should I keep this in the booth? That's yours. Okay. What about the pictures? Keep the pictures. Yeah, that's yours. She has copies. I just have copies. They, they, um, he submitted the application to you, and uh, she just gave me a copy and asked me to talk to you. Guys. That was what in Brooklyn looks like they would redo it. Well, actually, it was just right here on. On Second Street. Street. Oh, and Second. It's yeah. right. It's, it's uh, the house that Doc Donovan used to own. Um, and I do believe the city has a demolition order on that one. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So I mean, just, I mean, it's all all the pieces. Mm -hmm. Well, we just, why go through that and have to go back if something else happens? Mm -hmm. So if we get to that point, and if it's been since the 14th of January, we're just submitting this. I mean, I think we have a week to play with that and, and get everything correct. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Melissa. Thank you, guys. Peggy, I think you're up. Okay. So, um, with the new regulations that we deal with, um, some of the same things we do every year now have to be signed in a formal document, and this is called a facility assessment. We do this every year, and then we budget for what we think needs to happen and when I give that to you in June, July. So this has all been budgeted for. It just is the formal document that talks about what things are pushing what things, <laughs> what we should budget for staff-wise and otherwise. And if you want to look at it in detail, it's fine. It talks about our <coughs> males versus females, how we rank each of our issues that we think are issues. We need one of the things we've added to this is uh, the rehab equipment, which we're using the band of their funds for. Um, and the staffing is fine, we're not changing any of those things. 
and of course it, it outlines some of the things that we're going to target as action plans. So I need a commission to sign. Um, if you want to take time to read through it and then sign it later, I'm all right with that. But if you're comfortable with it as it is, then just on the back page there's a line for commission signature. No, just to take a second here to kind of see if there's anything I've got questions. Did you get uh, the day off without pay situation straightened out? No, that's a personnel matter from two uh, weeks ago. The, I think the person that you're talking about, she wanted overtime. We did not give her the overtime okay. because she was not. That's the way I took it too. Yes, she was not. I believe you were, you were gone and Jamie was on the train. Yeah, she come so, to us. No, actually, I was here. Oh, was you? I was here. Yeah, and mm -hmm. I actually gave her a kind of a heads up that okay. that might have been her issue. But yeah, she was mistakenly scheduled for overtime. Realized the error, took it off. I don't want anyone working overtime that's not top notch. So I'm going to give me over time. I want somebody who's functioning well, and that person is not meeting basic expectations. I make a motion that we let Chairman sign off for this official facility assessment, facility assessment for 2017. Or for, yeah, 2017. I'll second that motion. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, same sign. Pass three zero. I'm just right below you here on this bus yeah. page. Okay. And that's all. Thank you. That's all you have. Short and sweet. Thank you very much. Thank you. She's going to be ready for Stacy. She's not here yet. So Joe, you want to come up? Uh, he wasn't on the agenda, but I did happen to see him at lunch. And suggested maybe come up and give us an update on the jail roof since we were talking about it this morning. So, um, thank you. Okay. I'm supposed to be up down there in about 15 minutes. So. Okay, this will work. I don't see this as being very long. It's just that I think there was some. Uh, Questions you had had, or you had brought up to uh, Commissioner Pohl, uh, and there were some concerns about what was going on, or different things, aspects of the jail roof, and we hadn't heard anything back in discussion. I saw you, so I thought, right. better get it from the source. Yeah, uh, well, we had a meeting after that with everybody, and it's listed here on the front page as well as that meeting. And uh, we discussed all the issues that we just that I told you about, it, and some others. And it's all listed. This is the minutes from that meeting that River Bluff wrote up. And uh, the three well shows where everything's being addressed. Uh, at some point, they're going to have to go back and tear off part of it and put it over. But we won't pay them until that's done. So it's not at their, like at their cost. I mean, at their. Correct. Yeah, this so was the wind that came agree, up. engineer and, agree with what you said. I guess. Yes. Every, even uh, the roofer said, yeah. They wanted to get it fixed. So there wasn't any problem. Just, just, just when you do a roof that size, I mean, there's going to be some issues. There's a couple others now, and, you know, they're being addressed, and uh, they're supposed to be done in the next few days. Uh, then we'll go over it and look at everything, every little crack and crevice, and then the, the manufacturer will come back after that, and they will really go through the roof to make sure that what they're guaranteeing is actually. The way it's supposed to be, because they don't want to get stuck. Well, thank you for checking it, because we wouldn't have known it. The first thing you know, they'd been done out here and gone. And right. So. Yeah, that, I mean, this is every roofing or every project like this. You have things like this that come up. That some of them are serious. But this isn't. This is something that they know that they did, so they don't have any problems with it. Okay. So. Thanks for the update. Yeah. Um, are they are they up there all afternoon today? Yes. Is it too much to ask? If, could I go up there and look? Sure. Have you measured the wind recently? 
<laughs> I look at those skies up there and I thought to myself, I bet it, you know, it's not bad down the ground, but I bet it's kind of chilly up there. It's not. It, this morning it wasn't, but there wasn't any wind, but now I think there's a little breeze out there. Well, so. I mean, I didn't want to be any uh, liability of risk or whatever, if, and I wouldn't. You will have to either have myself or Dirk let you mm -hmm. onto the roof with a key okay. because it's locked. And the only way to get onto it is with the key. But when you open the door, you got to be careful because they may be working right there and you don't want to bang them in the head because they you know. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll see when I get out of here if I've got time. And, and uh, I, I think it'd be interesting just to, you know, see. When you want, I can stop back by here when I get down there and see if you're done yet. Okay. And if you're not, if you see me, then that means I'm going to be over to jail because they've got a door that isn't showing lock. So I'll be working on it. So if you, you've got my phone number, mm -hmm. you can just call me and I'll just meet you. You know how to get up on the roof. Mm -mm. Well, no, jail. Yeah, if you go to the, to the, to the lobby mm -hmm. and you go up them stairs as far as you can go, it looks like there's a door that's got a fob on it, but it's not working. So you just open it up. And you go through there and you'll see this little door that steps with a little door and that's where we'll go out. But okay. if, uh, I won't do it without being accompanied because. <laughs> well, yeah, you yeah. can't get on it anyway because right. of the lock. Right. So, but if you call me whenever you're done, no matter what, because this shouldn't take me very long. Down. Okay. And if I decide to I change my mind, I'll let you know. I'll text or call and, and let you know that too. So. Okay. And, and if you would leave a message because if I'm in the jail, sometimes it will not rain. So, but whenever I get away from it, or it, it'll eventually come through. Okay. So, and also, I have this real quick. We have time. Shell may have already, I don't know, you've already given the door. Oh, I don't remember. Mm -hmm. Stuff. And all this is is saying that we're going to go out to a bit to the door project here at the courthouse. That's given the times and dates. Okay. And that's all I have. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Seth, if you want to come on up, Stacy isn't going to be here until 145. So, um, I spoke with Pat a little bit over lunch um, about this tractor deal. He has a call in exchange, but he said he didn't get anything back, but he thought it would be fine if we choose to approve it today to go ahead and do it, and we can work out the details with the bank later on. I would prefer, before I cast my vote, to get from the bank first. Okay. I concur. I, I agree. Okay. I think that's um, being almost uh, presumptuous. Pre presumptuous. That's the word. Uh, you know, on there, I want their input since they're okay. a stakeholder in it. So. All right. That's what we did. did. Everybody get to look over the field bids. Is everybody fine with the way those are presented? With the correction. Oh, with the correction. With the correction. Yes. Okay. I will get those out there tomorrow and look for those. Uh, Michelle, if you can put us on the agenda for December 12th. Now we have a big opening at 1.30. How long do you need? 15 minutes. Okay. And who's going to be just for you? Myself and Ian Nelson. Okay. Okay, that's all I have, unless you guys have anything for me. Mm. Okay, anything else? No, I don't have anything. You're going to start uh, talking to some engineers and start getting some price until we need to sure. see when you come back with that and then we can proceed on that. Hopefully next week I'll have a group of possible engineers that might be interested. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to get some more next Tuesday, but I will do that and have the update. I'll give that to you next Tuesday. Also, I'm going to work on getting more um, 
prices for the front end loader that we're going to try, or that's budgeted for next year. Um, after that presentation we had at KC, I want to see if any more are on that actual uh, procurement policy where we can just get their number straight off of that and see what the prices are and the differences are in prices. Um, so I hope I'll have something on that by next Tuesday. I think that's all I have for next Tuesday. Should we hold, should we hold off on the engineers? Because one of our agenda items for the city county is cost sharing an engineer. Well, that'll be next Monday, so we'll know about Tuesday. Yeah. And then maybe, maybe we should hold off on that to see if they're interested. I thought that was yesterday. <laughs> it probably won't come into play quick enough. But. No. They didn't want to do it right after that. Well. I think we'll know enough by t next week to whether, and it, it doesn't hurt to contact these engineers anyway. Because yeah. I mean, it, I think that we've been working with one engineering company, and not that I'm dissatisfied, but I think we need to always look at seeing what else is out there and, and use some of these. We've talked about it before, and I know you don't want to get to the point where we've got one project here with one engineering company and, and get it too diverse, but, um, it's not bad to see what options are out there. So I, to me, I think what if we're going forward with this uh, bonding would be to actually double check the the bridges that are selected uh, if they are the correct. I mean, I know we need them all over, but to make sure that we're not overlooking maybe a, a place that it will be an inaccessible without a good bridge, without a decent bridge. Uh, we're either, you know, we, we want to make sure that we're getting the most bang for the buck and places that are inaccessible, you know, we've, we've got to have a way in. Not to say that it has to be the most straight way in, but I mean. It's so far, I have not found any. I mean, I've, I've looked, I've researched. I haven't really exactly found any. I mean, there is one, and that's the one up in the northeast corner of uh, Lewis and Clark's. Uh, was that the one we just talked about a low water? No, no. Correct. We would have there would be uh, just off three fourteen around three fourteen, just uh, east of Sedgwick. There's one way in, one way out. Um, we would have to build a temporary access for them, if not, make them walk across the Sedgwick Bridge and drive down part of the levee or however that would work. Which I doubt that's going to happen. Is that the one you were talking about that would be the low water crossing? Or? No, this no. one would be something we had to build a similar. Type structure to get them across while we build the new bridge. So, or okay. change the alignment of it. That's the only one that I could see that if that bridge fails, they're out of access. That reminds me, and I don't know, it seems to me like I've addressed this with you before, and I, this would be a huge project, but uh, north of the Dennis Bell project that we had, if you go straight north to that road, almost to the county line, we have a fairly new good bridge there, and that's Independence Creek. Correct. That Creek that uh, is coming around that big curve to the west of the bridge and eating south into that bank. I'm afraid that in so many years it's going to try to jump that road and just bypass the bridge altogether. It's going to try to create a new channel. I don't know what could ever be done. If it's out of our county right away, we would have to get landowners and you know, see if we are allowed to come in their property. And this is probably. Probably two city blocks west of the bridge, you know, it's where that comes around the curve, but it's, it's, you can see where that now is eating to the south bank. The bridge is setting here and the water is actually curving south of the bridge and then coming back north and it's lower to the south of the bridge. And I could see that starting to hop and cut across. I think Mr. Brown brought that up about a year ago. Uh, I, I believe I talked. I didn't know whether I'd ask Seth about it or we brought it up to the other commissioners. That, I thought that didn't Dennis say that they just he didn't donate the dirt or something. Something needs to have a direct change because it's cutting. It's been a while ago because I really don't recall any of that conversation. I remember that. I I, I don't remember him saying that, but I was just an observation of my own that when I was up there looking at those tubes we put in for on that road. Uh, I think it would take piling and everything else on that south bank and, and make, which I can't imagine what it would cost. But That's something we can also get the Corps of Engineers on. And they may be able to assist us in that sense of Florida and the U.S. So that's something I can contact them and see if there's something they're willing to do. Or it, it might even fall on the land. Well, that's, the, uh, but I mean, to help us out, we would probably want to do the work. 
Well, it wouldn't be maybe quite so much difference if that wasn't such a good bridge. If we had a bridge that was need in need of repair, you know, maybe that could be relocated if it had done that. But it means that we have a good bridge. I think it's proactive that maybe we could get some piling or something in there to keep that from going further. Sometimes so you, you need stuff. to look at that. I'll research into that and I'll go to the floor and anybody else that maybe I'll help with that. I'll go forward with it. Well, Seth, you mentioned the bid. What's the name of that bid? Um, NJ. Okay, so there's a bid. Yeah. They're, they're suggesting we join an organization we can just without bidding our stuff out. Correct. And, and I went to the presentation. I think Eric was there. He didn't do anything to prove to me that it was a good deal. He just proved to me that they had a program. Correct. And that's what I want to get the prices for compared to what, you know, maybe. I guess we can get the prices there and we can still put it out for bid this year and just to see. Sure, and then Melissa Crane's department belongs. That is actually expired. I had researched in to see if Madison County was part, and they said, yes, the freighters are in, but they haven't expired. But they must have some experience. I don't know if that was back when Jim. I don't, I don't know. Well, who, Melissa Crane had no clue about it. Okay. So. It had to be Jim. NJIP? Then a. That's a different one. That's a different one. So. NJIP or NIJP? Seem like there's national joint something purchase association or something. Yeah. So, but yeah, there's multiple ones. As you he was a great presenter. He presented that they have a program, but it didn't present anything about. I'm telling you, were cheaper. And I know there <laughs> some of the counties there were stating that yes, the heavy metal or heavy equipment was the best options to purchase off that, not necessarily pickup trucks or some smaller. Well, he said that himself. Yeah. So, but, but you you only. Were representative by one make on there. What you didn't do? Was there a John Deere dealer and was there? There's multiple manufacturers. The gentleman that presented was not. He was a one man on his own. I mean, that's what he does. He goes. But he's out paid by Foley equipment. I no, he he wasn't paid by Foley. He was brought in by them. I don't know. Okay. He, so he was just brought in by that association, but Foley I think sponsored mm -hmm. to get him up here. I have no problem with what was presented, but I mean, we can't have a process that excludes other vendors and stuff. So, I mean, I would really have to look into what, who all was. What well, I heard was John Deere, the way they do it, is it worthwhile? Yeah. So well, that's what we heard. So, and that's what, if, if you only use that process, they would probably get cut off, cut out. And I mean, I, if you, Left it open, and you had an actual bid process, and you and you could still utilize that if if the that organization's price was under your other bids. I, I don't see where there'd be a problem. Almost it would almost be like another third bid. Now I don't know whether Cat would want to, and, and I'm using them because those are the ones that were representative. Put a bid out, and then actually be undercut by the purchasing organization. <coughs> I'm not sure how that. <laughs> that I mean, I was having a hard time grasping the whole time. That sounded like, good. Basically, it's, it's sounded real good. Reduce the amount of time that I would deal on setting um, bid specs and dealing with all that. It's more or less. It's, There's a lot of cost. We did work for you. Here you get them. Here's your price. It's kind of like the state bid on vehicles. I mean, it's like it's already done for you. You just pick the one you want and purchase it off. Okay. Yeah. And there were there were some people in their room that were using it and were. Positive about it. Yes, I did. Everybody get upset about this. Really doesn't work. I I want to take a further look. I was yeah. intrigued enough to take a further look. Uh, being sold on it, I got a lot of questions before we could do that. Okay, I'll look into that more. It's a matter of process more than anything. Yeah. Well, we yeah. can't exclude. You know, it's just like okay, we're just going to use this now and and exclude vendors that may very well have the lowest bid. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Thank you. If I remember correctly, you, the John Deere portion of it was they'll give you a bid, but you're not helping the dealer, the local dealers. All they're going to do is receive the product and hand it over to you. Yeah, ship it. Just a intermediate. And maybe a little payment. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Sir, may I inquire? Do you have any questions for us or uh, anything, or what's your name? Who, why are you here? Uh, I'm John Frakes. I'm actually here for a uh, uh, class taking a local state government through Highland. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I thought I thought I recognized you. Know, I know that guy. Yeah. Now who is it? Like twenty years. So. Mm-hmm. It's been a while. Yeah. Been a while. So you got any questions of us? Uh, no, not really. Okay. No, not really. Okay. I guess I yeah, maybe one question. Why do you have it at one o'clock in the afternoon? Well, that's I've, I've been. When I joined, that's when they had it, so I just came to the meeting. I think yeah. it's been that for a long Why they picked that particular day? Is there any reason that you're aware of? The, what I believe uh, Mike Bodenow's and former commissioner said to me was that at one time they were doing Mondays, but usually if you have a three-day weekend, a lot of times your Mondays was a holiday. So they were doing the extra thing to have to advertise it for Tuesday. So they ended up just uh, putting it on Tuesdays. Um, as for one o'clock, I, I don't know. At one time, I think believe they were meeting three times a week, and they were meeting two times. Well, three, three, but then it went down to two. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then it went down to two, mm-hmm. and it was just morning sessions only. Um, I know for me having it multiple times, if we've done like two meetings a, a week, I'd have to drive in twice as often. So I, I don't know whether that's uh, just by having it one one day a week and. Uh, if there's other suggestions, I actually I had never heard of this until about a couple weeks ago. And I had the same question posed to me, so I don't know if it's coming through your class or or where it's coming from. But uh, I don't know how it come to three to, to two. But the reason why we went from two to one, like on a light, you know, if we didn't have a lot going on, we'd come up here Tuesday. We might be here an hour or half an hour. And we'd be gone. We'd come back Thursday. We might be a half an hour an hour. And we'd be gone. So then we went to workshops. And then the open sessions, and we all agreed that we thought we would get more accomplished. Even though we meet one time a week versus two, we actually probably spend more time meeting twice. I meet once than we did when we meet twice. Uh, we have discussed it uh, times when, if there's ongoing business and somebody needs something signed and it don't, you know, don't get done that day because somebody's gone or. You know, it's like, well, then they have to wait another week. So we try to avoid that at all possible. Sometimes, you know, if it's if it's pre-approved, you know, it could be I could sign or the, one of us could sign for the, for the group and try to expedite anything that don't have to be voted on again. Um, we, you know, we try to watch that. It, we hate to waste too much um Taxpayer, I know the taxpayers would like to come, but then we also have employees that if they are making pro- proposals and if we had our meeting at 7 in the evening, 6 in the evening, we've got employees that can't be present too. So uh, we are having a city-county uh, meeting next Monday night, if you're aware of that. Uh, it will be at the 409 uh, public room, and it's at 6 o'clock. I think right? it's 5. 5. Five o'clock. Did you put it in your calendar? Or? I just haven't oh. flipped over to it. Oh. <laughs> Which, by the time I'd get my phone out of my pocket, I would say it was at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> we have an ongoing tech feud here. Uh, so, is there any other questions? Hey, thanks for coming. Yeah, appreciate it. Come on, Do we have some. any uh, handout stuff that we can give Mr. Frank as far as the general? How the county's run or anything like that? Um, I would probably suggest um, going into KC and looking at their help desk book. There's a link to a county help desk. It's a book and it kind of goes down through a lot of the logistics of the structures. It's a, it's a Kansas Association of Counties. You can just search it, Google it. Okay. It's a, they represent all the counties in the state. I'm trying to get you some extra credit to get you yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah. Also, visit our, if you haven't or look at the county website, yeah, there's a lot of access everything from parcel searches to, um, you know, what we offer, places to point, uh, not point, but, uh, apply, look for jobs, um, all, all kinds of information on there. So, fish around on there and you might find something interesting. Come on up, Stacy. So how's the trash today? 
still there. Still there. Monday's when it'll get crazy after the after two days holiday. Yeah, they're going to pick all the trash out of the city on Monday. Or Thursday and Wednesday Thursday. on Monday? They are open on Saturday. Yes, but that's but where you'll get trash. They'll pick up two days, three days in one day, the city is, right? I, I think they're doing it all Monday, yeah. yeah. So we'll get it. It'll be crazy Monday. Mm -hmm. But that's how it is. Yeah. I think Michelle already gave you a copy of the contract from mm -hmm. him. I actually have it. <laughs> I think Pat had some made previously that I put in the pile. Yeah, yeah, so this was, this was brought up last week, and, and Pat said everything looked fine, and, and I think I'm the one to make suggestion that we wait and hear your opinion on this before we sign okay. on, if you're in the I've read over it, and everything on my part looks good. I yeah. uh, I did forward it on to Charlie Sedlock with hands, and he's reviewed it, and everything looks good. Him and him and Pat had discussed it before Pat made his revisions, so we're ready to go. Okay. This is a better conversation before you. I don't know if we already voted on this or not, but the transition between today and January 1st. Are we going to be straight with waste management as I far think, as um, what they owe us, what we owe them? We need to well, hold back a little bit of paying them. To, I mean, is everything resolved at the end? Yeah, their bills just come in on an every two week basis. Okay. And so there wouldn't be any reason we they would owe us anything. No. Okay. Okay. No. You I mean, we'll too. still owe them. You know, it'll take them a while to get their last December bill out, but we'll just. What about the rebates they owe us and things like that? They come in regular. Yeah, I mean, we're not. You would expect it to come We're probably in. within two weeks of that. You okay, know, once so we send a recycle trailer, it takes about two weeks to get a rebate. So there'll be a little bit of outstanding into January, but it won't But be you feel comfortable, though. Yeah, they'll yeah. be fine. That's, that was what I'm getting Yeah, at they'll be about. fine. Okay. Um, next week, you heard us talk about the city-county meeting, and, and uh, it was proposed from the city that we talk about the solid waste contract. Is one of the topics, and we're not exactly sure. Have, have I they? Have, come? I have not. So, if you're available Monday night, could you come to the meeting, or uh, just that's what time is it? Five o'clock at the uh, four nine conference room. And if we hear anything more on the, what that what that means, I'll try to get it to you. Yeah, the four o nine building there, the old uh, so City National Bank okay. here on the mall, come in the back way on the. I'll have Tell a look so. and see what I got going on that night. Okay, uh, I mean it's not a. It's just if you're available, I'm not for sure yet what that what they're getting. We're going to try to get some more information and on if maybe we know for sure. Want to report maybe? Yeah, I Which, think I. My opinion is uh, one of our agenda things was one cent sales tax, so I feel they put this on to make sure that how much money. Mm. We're spending on solid waste to right. see if what they're funding us is adequate. Okay. That's my take on it. I may be way off. Okay. But if you could be there, I, I'd appreciate it. Since, you that, can't, you yeah. Since that agenda item is kind of open ended, it could mean. Who knows? Yeah. Who we want as many departments heard, heard, heard as we can, can possibly. Well, especially when they put it on the agenda, if we could yeah. have that part. Yeah. Which is Seth be there? Should be there. No, I don't think I had anything associated with CEST on their part of the agenda, was it? Uh, where was it? I have that letter in my office. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say, that, that would be probably a good thing. Any department head that's mentioned in, in that agenda, mm -hmm. want to suggest, give them an email and suggest that they be there. And don't make a requirement because people have lives and, you know, have things that they have to do. So <coughs> appreciate that they could be there. Okay. Should I hear a motion then? Is there any more discussion before we get started on this? No, I'd move to uh, authorize Eric, Chairman, um, Chairman Eric to sign the solid waste contract as presented. I second that, Mr. Chairman. It's been moved and seconded to accept the waste service contract. All in favor say aye. Aye. Uh -huh. uh, all opposed, same sign. That's 3 0. Okay. Charlie's yes. on vacation this week, so I plan to probably Tuesday drive it down there and get his signature since. Did you get your pickup? We okay. did. We got it last Thursday. It looked pretty good. So been hauling cans. It's going great. Mm -hmm. Was we going to buy us some more recycled milk? I mean, yeah. So we did. Yeah, we did. we've got it. Mm -hmm. We're waiting for, we've got that uh, 
waste management can out there on site, and we're waiting for it to get full. And once it gets full, we'll call them and they can dump it and take it. And then we'll put ours there. But we're not going to dump. We're not going to have them do it halfway because they're going to charge us the full price. So we're waiting for it to get full. Mm -hmm. It'll be full in the next before the end of the year. So. That's the one from Pat. Is there any difference in the contracts that we have in the Nothing I am aware of. This is that's well that one there had I did mine front and back, he only did his on the back. Oh that's the difference. Because I say these are skills history so okay. Do we need to have two copies on? I've got two. Yes. I'm so sure. And I guess you need to put the date on the front. Is that right? There we go. It says buy and then name. Should I sign it and then print it or? It has title commissioner. I would sign it and then print it. It's not really good. One of these has your own. Yeah. Make sure there's no other copies of that other information were attached. And I did not date the front copy of that. There was a copy of something else that was mixed in the first copy. The reason I keep flipping through this, I want to make sure that because it was something that didn't need to be in here. Not that I can't put a current, but I can get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there anything else? No problem, Stacy. <laughs> There's nothing further. Thank you very much. Thank you. And like I say, if I hear of anything that's further on what that Meeting Monday night is off. Yeah. Would, would it be inappropriate if she contacted the city and say, We were told by the commissioners that you want to talk about it. What do you want to talk so I know what to bring? Get a hold of Becky or. Yeah, that would be appropriate. Because right. then so you'll it'll have. It'll be first hand and it won't be third hand information. All right. We'll do. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, we got some. I'm gonna come on up. No, he no. was listening. He did. If I can get I don't know if you've seen the sign, but uh, this is being taped live. So. No, I'm gonna to try to be honest. Oh, I didn't know. Okay, I just, <laughs> I'm not saying that you're not. I just want to warn you. Know. That. You know I'm not most of the time. Oh, uh -huh. uh, I got a problem. I'm trying to sell that bar out there. And the city, city says that I'm a next end to their city. And Topeka says I can't be. I guess what we're asking is proof that he is or isn't. In the well, city. And I've got a, a real estate person that can sell it if I can get something signed that it is not in the city. So... It was annexed to the city because I was there when we voted. It was annexed, but it was like Topeka says it cannot be. Read that. I, I, I don't need to read it, but what did the city say? The city. Did the city, have you talked to the city? The city of Atchison? Yeah. yeah. He's the one that said he, that he was annexing. It has never been told to me. I was at the meeting that he's talking about. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, she was there, I know. <laughs> but uh, they annexed it, 
according to unanimous vote between the three commissioners mm -hmm. of, of the city. But Topeka says they can't. Topeka I have says seen that, so I would. I, would, I, okay. I gave you one of them before. You say you say that the state you know, says that it has a legal authority. Topeka, you just read the where she underlined. Do you want one? Where's the uh, paying these taxes? Does anybody know? Yeah. Would um, if that was annexed? Wouldn't our uh, your your is, could could I think this reason the city was wanting it. They was going to try to annex the ambulance. They wanted that elevator, wasn't it? That's what they're appearing for. But it, it was on our. It has been annexed. Our ambulance is in the city. It right. has been annexed. Well, how did it get there then? The, the, the annexation order. But is the state saying that they did it the legal authority, or are they saying it wasn't? The state problem? says if you want to annex my bar. I've got to sign a letter that says I won in the in the city, and two commissioners have got to agree that I can get in the city, according to Topeka. County commissioners or city commissioners? County commissioners, right there. Right there. Right there. Wish that was there. I did. I just I just want to get rid of it, but and she she can get it sold. If, if they go by the pickers' ruling, but if you go by this bunch of whatever they are down here, then I'm never sure how you feel about things. <laughs> that thing, you know, me and you, me and you had a common friend a long time. Ago. Yeah, I know. Does he pay these taxes to the state or city, or does he pay them to the county? Well, the county collects all. Taxes. Oh, uh, yeah, but where does money go? Does it go to the city? Well, that's what I was wondering if our uh, appraiser down here should know. I mean, for taxation purposes, that if that would have came through. Is Melissa well, still here? Well, think? yeah, it, 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 it has, according to the city, been annexed. But according to Topeka, it can't be. That's what we need to know. Okay. Whether Topeka has got more say so than Atchison, or whether Atchison has got more say so than Topeka, is what I'm needing to know. You would think a state would override us. Well, I would think so too. Mr. Pole, I, 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 this is my son, and, and he. Let me, let me ask you. Ask you let me ask a question. It's on my business. Is the city's uh, codes make it diff more difficult for you to sell the bar, or this person just to buy it just doesn't want the to people know. that's buying it are just scared to the city. I see. Kind of like I am. Whatever, I see this whatever they decide well, I they want to do, they I, do. I, I would say by reading this here that where it says um, Kansas law allows cities to annex land by several different methods. So when you're reading this one here, one way is by approval of the county commissioners. But then you go down here. Uh, another way it says uh, by public notification. Notice to landowners within the area and hearings are central to this process, but it is the city's governing body that makes the final decision to approve or reject the annexation. If I want it. No, that don't say landowner. the landowner there. If you look on the second page in this here, right here, uh, it says a I'll read the full paragraph. A specific process must be followed for unilateral annexations, right. which is public notification. All they have to do is notify the public. Notice to landowners within the area. And hearings are central to this process, but it is the city's governing body that makes the final decision to approve or reject the annexation. And then it's, uh, it goes on. Then three years after the annexation, the Board of County Commissioners is required to review and hold a hearing of the city's timetable for provision of services to the annexed area. If the board finds the city has not provided provide planned services, the property may be de-annexed within one and a half years of the board's findings. So in other words, if they you would not have city sewer, city water, and those things after three years after the annexation, you could appeal to us. I'm not, I'm not on the sewer. Well, but if if you were failing to provide well, fire, water, sewer, oh, hell, I, 
Here, I got some more in there. Some of I'm going to keep going for a minute. Mm. Okay, uh, which got? Every copy is up here. So, um, I think that going through here, I mean, I'm not saying that's the only thing, but that is what I found. I'm sure that they're going to stand on. This is uh, where attorneys make their money on determining this stuff. Yeah. Um, I see right off the bat it says it sounds like it has to be approved by the county commissioners, but that's just one of the well, many. That's what, I, that's what I'm trying to see right now. Which one of you, which two of you voted? To do it, it was never because never that's voted. just one of the one of the ways that they can but, can and, annex. But 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 two, it says in here you can annex me if I'm joined to the Atchison city limits. Yes, I'm a half a mile from the city limits. They went out there and bought an old trailer house, tore it down, so they say that's city property. Now they're annexing both ways from that, and they can't. That's Definitely. I wonder if Roger's down there. Roger, Roger could probably. He's not, but Melissa's is looking. Oh, okay. Melissa's is looking. I wish we had our county counselor. First of all, I think he did the annexation. He did. Well, I think he did this annexation. Pat Henderson. Um, as a Pat Henderson the is a proprietor of the whole mess. He sent me a letter before they, you know, they ever went down and annexed it, trying to get me. To say that I wanted to be annexed, and I do not, did not, and will not. But there was a vote of the city commission, to right? Manage. Yeah. But it, right now, uh, any other things like that, Jim? I'm not. I, I, I'm know, not I know. Sure. I know. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I'm not mad at none yeah. of you guys. Dang it! I just want to. And it has not come before us in any way, shape. We have not signed off on anything. We right. have not. What? You know, that's. Uh, I was told it's time. I don't know if this was, I guess you could say rumor. Their whole idea was it was to get to the elevator. Right. And they had to have the joining property so they could get to it. They okay. had to come unilateral off of the city limit. The city limits, uh, that, oh, whatever, sent me a letter trying to get me to join. Because they own my whole east side. The city has a next off of this property that they own. It does not, you can't do that off of it. You, you can't just go out and buy the farm next to your farm and put you in. But you can get your farm next into action, I guess, if you want to. If you can sign a paper that you want to next and two of these guys will vote to put you in, you can come in. Is the way this reads. That's one of the ways, yes. This is a handbook for different. That ways. is from Topeka. So this is this is a handbook for different ways. It's there's so, there's just like five different ways here, right? Yeah. So it, it it almost takes an attorney to to sift through the different unilateral or uh, you know all well, these different ones. I just probably I'm what to start with, but I want to prove. Jim, our accessors look to try to look it up now. So just hang on a minute. I have got two beer licenses here that I got in there from the county. Mm -hmm. I got a beer license right now to sell beer on the premises or to go. It's right there. I bought it. it cost me $150 just to prove to him where I, if I was in the city, I had to go to the city to get this. Right? That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Here, no, right there. No, I, I believe you. I don't need to see it. I'm a liar. Don't break me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, well, I hate to have it come back, but should they come back when county council's here? Or, or is this a done deal? Or I mean, you was on the city when this come to play. As far as I know, the annexation was done. By the city. By the city. What the county has to do with that, we are basically, and if there's a rule here that says if the city hasn't provided the services, then there might be an appeal process to the county. That's three years after the. And it's been more than three years. It's probably been five, six years. Well, has it right. been that long? I don't know. Yeah, it's been a while. Well, it, I know it hasn't on the ambulance. Uh, yeah, I don't have no sewer. Sure. Mm -hmm. What do you mean? Yeah. Well, 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 what does getting rid of it have to do with the city? Because the they don't want to pay a high price city tax. Well, I tell you what, I, the old boy that that had the couple of beer joints in Atchison, 
has been dickering on it now for six months. And I guess he's went through a bunch of red tape and stuff, trying to get the city's approval and all, but he don't have to, is my point. If he's not in the city, why? Uh, anyhow, I bet the building dang near fall down, the roof's leaking and everything else. I ain't need, the roof needs fixed and stuff. I know, I know shortly after we uh, announced that we bought the or the ambulance, they annexed it like a week later. We weren't notified. We didn't say we want in, we don't want in. So I think the city probably has the power. I know you're not going to like to hear that, but that's what they did. The that's what they done to well, I think that might have been a process. But, but you yeah. see, too, by me not being in the city, the closest city limits to them is a half a mile down the road on that side. Doris Stephen Morgan has got that blue trailer house there. They annexed her, and I did own that yellow house. And it supposedly is in the city. The only one out there that is legally put in the city, and I don't know if you commissioners voted on that or not. Fred Card did sign a thing that he wanted the city water and sewer on that trailer house west of the city. I've been here five years and I haven't signed off any annexation plans. I haven't either. Uh, the property that we bought, though, I do remember that there was a writer on it that they could annex. That it was we couldn't fight annexation if we even chose to. But I think it, I think it was I think it was a process way before you ever bought it. So evidently there was some, and I think that is because it this was on city water. This is the catch right here. I think that was on city water or some service that that facility was, yeah. and so that was in there. And so we heard that they were going to annex it, and we didn't. Again, we weren't notified or anything. It just happened, yeah. and okay, um, we couldn't fight it. Uh, you can't fight city hall anyhow, but I thought it was worth a try. Well, you do raise some very interesting questions. I, I'm intrigued like with the beer yeah. license yeah. and yeah, with the liquor license. Look like well, they're, they're right there and they're signed. Do you I, have your last tax statement, Jim? Huh? Do you have your last tax statement? Your tax oh, statement. Oh, property. Because right? you know. it would have the city honored. If right. it was in the county, we only had a county on it. But, well, I would, your last tax statement, if it would have been at least recorded that it was annexed, then you would be paying city taxes there. And right, that's what we want to know. Is it paying city or county? It, but, if they if they annexed it illegally, they, they can't say they might have got the taxes on. It. But if it was annexed illegally, I'm not no lawyer. I never finished high school. I'm not smarter than they are. Uh, <laughs> but you don't charge five hundred dollars an hour, huh? You don't charge five hundred dollars an hour. No. <laughs> uh, the tax statements are are going to be out what this next week. So, and yeah, the first part of this week. This so week. that how that's listed on there should tell us whether that's been what I maybe suspect has happened is the uh, order of they've actually annexed it, but something hasn't gotten recorded. So part of the system is saying that it's annexed, has been the process has went through, but on the other hand, maybe a appraiser's office or somebody maybe hasn't gotten that. So that would. Uh, when when you look it up for the beer license or anything like that, is it showing that it's been transitioned? Uh, Wasn't this annexed like three or four years ago? Or well, I will tell you, Rita Hartman was one of the people mm -hmm. who voted for it. And she hasn't been on the commission for the, the day they at least six years. I talked to Rita Hartman and the plumber both that morning, and they said they didn't know whether it was legal or not. And you wasn't there when they hollered, yeah, and they, I don't think. I don't remember. Well, I do. I think I was. But well, you might have. Anyhow, mm -hmm. I took $60,000 out of Greta to Hartman's credit union the next day. And she's smart enough. She had her husband ask him why. <laughs> and that, that ought to be playing as a nose on your face, oughtn't it? <laughs> okay, well, it bears work looking into some more. We'll have uh, well, no, less I, and... and I would like to. Have, I mean, it's, uh, you might want to go uh, downstairs. It might make me a little bit. I, I, I can do without the money. The thing is, that's the reason it cost me 150 here just to make my this, point. The story we're up front, just gonna see. You'll see it's like county assessment. Because I know she's looking into it. She just hasn't gotten back with me yet. She did find some information. 
But she said there was two different ordinances and she was looking through them to find out which one pertained to that property. So she's looking at it. She just you hasn't hasn't gotten anything. Over. Yeah. If you can come back next week. On, uh, we can come back anytime you say. Well, probably. Our, okay, and he helped do the thing. But, so. but he kind of, kind of, well, I like him about like a rattlesnake. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Well, well, I'll sure. bring that letter where he's trying to get me to come in on my own before that city meeting. Well, it's the easiest way to get you to come in, just volunteer. Well, you know, I mean, well, I yeah. Mean, yeah. He, uh, he was telling me of all the advantages that I was going to have. I was going to have city. I was going to have uh, sewer. I was going to have water. All that. If I go ahead and say that next thing, I did not. Mm -hmm. uh, well, all I'm the, holding you kids up. Oh no! Thank you for coming no, in. I think so. And we'll see what. Well, I was told about. when you you you're my commissioner. He, I guess he's his. Yes. Yeah. I'm I'm Santa. Santa. <laughs> okay. Well, I, I don't think well, we've ever, I've never met you. Well, so was, yeah, he was here, just just had got in, he was sitting over here the last time I bought and, and gave these things out. I don't remember reading this. But but, but if you read that all the way through, and, and, and <coughs> take, take her marking, my sister has got more degrees than most lawyers have. I can't hardly really talk to her, but she talks like a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. <laughs> have a happy Thanksgiving, guys. Yeah. Have a but no, check on it for me. But then I can tell you know uh, Teela Keys, <clears throat> Keys Land. Well, she's got so well. As a matter of fact, yeah, I had quite a few people want to buy it in some county. Didn't her husband work at the Hills No, he worked the same business. You know. Did she? Did I? Uh, I just don't. Yeah, yeah, we we'll, have, we'll have our county council look into it. Well, it, the heck of it is. That thing there is county and city. Mm -hmm. well, well, he was hired by the city to be their uh, annexation attorney, but he is no longer doing that because there was a new county attorney and he took it over. But if, if you read that all the way through, the people says it can't happen. Well, he'd be the guy, or he'd be one of the. But I would think, I would think the people ought to have say over actions. I would think so too. And, well, and I would say we need at least one more walking trail, and, or join at least join the one that they built to Jackson Park, and then they'd have a long walking trail. But I'd go around through Potter to get there. Sir, do you want on the agenda for next week? Do we? Do you want a time? Uh, the clerk here can put put you down for time. <laughs> I don't make a point. Hell, I, I don't five minutes from now what I'm going to be doing. But well, you know, that's, you the you get, that's the best way to get an answer, Rob. Okay, you can well. come back and counter. But I don't want to stir up the pond <coughs> if, you know, if he says what you not want to hear. So I, I'll leave it up to you. Well, but if you do want to come back, get with Michelle and tell her now. Or, I mean, if you don't know if you want to do that yet, you can always call into the clerk and. If I like this little girl. I've been giving her crap ever since she came. <laughs> What's the latest you can call in? Oh. I like to have the agenda done by five on the Friday previous to the meeting. Well, you're going to be closed Thursday. Well, yeah. you're going to be closed. So Monday is the time. Okay, thank you. All right, thank you. Hey, guys. Thanks. Thank you, John. I didn't really want to come, but he. Well, I think you deserve an answer. And yeah. if you think it's yeah. one way, well, and it can make. It can make. Well, here, oh, here's can, here's can, Melissa, our appraiser. Maybe she has some uh, enlightenment. No. <coughs> Go on again. This is an ordinance from the city of Atchison annexing the property known as the Full Moon Saloon into the city of Atchison. Okay. When, when was it dated? Um, <coughs> it's recorded on January 21 of 15. It was passed and approved January 5th of 15. Does that give what example out of uh, what they used or, or how what process they used to annex? Maybe. It just is okay. the official ordinance annexing. Okay. All done by Mr. Signed by Dave Butler and Dave Clem, mm -hmm. city clerk. 
Um, <coughs> you yourself told said you never voted. No, I've never voted on any annexation since I've been here and I've been here five years. Uh, Commissioner Knowles has said it was signed by Dave Butler and something Clem. That Clem. Deb Clem, who was a city clerk. Yeah, she's a city clerk. Right. So it never was brought to the county. The two of you could sign something saying that it wouldn't mean just as much as them. No. I, don't, I asked Pat about that because when we had the ambulance center, I said, well, can we block it? Can we block it? Can we stop it? He said, no. Well, but that's, he was talking to that. You as well talk to that chair. See you later. Kid. All right. Okay. Well, thank you. So uh, there again, if you want to get something set up, you know, give her a call by Monday. We'll still have the discussion here. We'll, I'm going to ask Pat about it. Yeah, we'll talk about it anyway. Especially with the light, uh, issue in so the bear well, license. The main thing is, I can tell her, no, it isn't in the city. Uh, well, the, the title search will show it is. Huh? When there's a title search, it will show that it is. So that might be something you're saying. Anyway. Melissa, I got a question for you. I don't know. What do you estimate the tax value be different? City taxes on it versus county? Do you have any idea? Um, it just depends on how many mills the city has. Um, It'd be the county plus the city. I mean, yeah, how many plus mills, does the, city, or how many mills does the city yeah. add to that? Do you know, Michelle? I, I've got the levy sheet over there. I can go get it. Well, if that's the case, it adds quite a bit. The city levy um, if you double and 409 that. levy, which is lower than... I mean, it's higher, I guess. Yeah, because the there would be a school district levy. Um, that it was 10th. On the historical city sites in Ashes, you can see city four or five years ago. You made a mistake. You should have made it to the most high. And I went in that door myself in 1940. Right? I was five years old. Grandma and Grandpa talked about this. And we have drank a lot of natural light in there. And the city manager at the time that I started trying to buy the bar said, well, it costs you $1,300 to have an inspector to get the lights turned on. The lights is turned on right now, and I never give them nothing except pay the deposit. The lights is on, and there's 50 beers in the refrigerator if you need them. I'll give you a key. The way I we try to drive us. You know, you know better than that. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> the way I read this with the, what Melissa brought in, it says that it was using this KSA 12520B is the, and that is the paragraph that I was reading. It's, this is A and B right there. So this is the process here that they are using. So when you read about here, about the county commissioners having to uh, approve off. it, they're not using this this section. They're they are using this section. So can they? Well, yes, they have the precedent, and we don't have any. It was, uh, we can't overrule them. If you want this back with that on there for your records, you can have it. Okay. Well, this here in case you guys have this, this one here, and I got. Several more copies, and I want to have some more copies. Okay. Here's, um, here's something you guys have seen. My well, that's sister, an old timer. My sister had a bunch of calendars, and our old buddy made this for me. Hi, later. This is actually a long time ago. Wow, those are some. The cop, the cops didn't people. have guns; they had belly clips. Uh huh. Well, it's kind of going back to that. Boy, when is that? 1930 semi-pro baseball team, the Shannon Red Sox. Shannon Red Sox. I never heard of that. Oh wow! I made that. I made that off of off of calendars. Or Kyle Hander made these, and then I tell the young head calendars when he said Kyle Hander and I were real buddies. Centennial parade. So we were best of friends. That's when they finished. They built it all this stuff and all kinds of things. That's the original railroad bridge. That's Seventh and Marshall. Well, those are those are some classic photos. I have those somewhere, but I can't. I'm not gonna remember where they are. Hammer and Camp. I should have them visually. Stein Mike. There you go. Wow. Early 1900s cops. 
You got some nice photographs there. Well, that's interesting. Well, no, I made me a coffee, and but you can take that whole darn thing down there at uh, Poor Boy, I mean, Poor Richard's or whatever. Mm -hmm. They make that for, you know, less than a dollar. So, so what you're saying is we're probably going to need to that. You're just talking to another lay person here. Uh, as far as that is what I think that I would like, I'd like to worry him more. Like okay, so I, I, Ronnie, Ronnie, to answer that question, I I feel that it's beyond <clears throat> us to help you out. Would, would that well, be well, a I, I, I want you guys to answer? Let's have some legal some legal cl to claim that this is done improperly, which would require some sort of attorney. That attorney you have to value that property in a heartbeat. You know. and, and my interest lies to make sure that it's recorded properly because if there's beer licenses that are being sure. put out, and you still don't know where you're getting taxes paid here. there. Well, that when you, if your tax statement comes out this week, bring that in. But you, because that hey, we need to say, say that. You understand what I'm saying? I'd say yeah. be safe. That's what I'm I, saying. I, exactly I, what I think. Saying. I think you was kind of on my side when this all happened. I think. Yeah. I think at that time well, we was friends. Yeah. Oh, I think we still are. Right? But you never brought me any tomatoes this year. Well, I, I never got down to your place to get any tomatoes okay. this year. Oh. And, the, <laughs> and, the, and the one I did get, didn't, they, they all got to flight and didn't have no tomatoes on there. Yes, yeah, so you didn't get them from us. Yeah, right? no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thanks, well, guys. Thank you. We'll look into it. I'm going to put these copies back in the blue folder so they're here next week if they come back. Hey, Melissa, thank you. Thank you. Yes, we appreciate that. I really No, but again, if it's kind of interesting, I think they would know if there's tax. It. I mean, well, it's filed with the deed. It should be there, but I would think that they would have known that the taxes had went up because if they're been paying it and in addition to that. I think when you're reading that copy and you're just seeing, well, that, you know, it says the uh, commissioners have to sign off. Well, that's the first one, and that that's a totally different subsection of the uh, legal description how, of how the city got there to annex it. So uh, we'll talk with Pat about that. Okay. New business before the board. Do you have anything? I don't have anything. No. Older unfinished business. No county council updates. As we have no county councilor. No executive sessions. I want to go through. We haven't looked at the bills yet, so they're going to have to be taken care of. And I want to double check that we've got everything. Did in I make one comment about the county councilor? Excuse me. If for some reason the county councilor should is it going to be here? Can we have another attorney present? I don't know, but I think it's in the bylaws that the county councilor has to sign it. Uh, so uh, we had that a couple of weeks ago, and we left a note, and I think he had to go down when he got here. To he went down to Melissa's office and signed them. Or he signed these. We can sign them. I don't think he signed them yet, but I'll have to. We'll have to sign off on them. He will have to come in and, and get to them. All right. Does this hearing have today county business? Excuse me? Was the hearing he had today county business? I believe well, so. Well, yeah, it's juvenile. Juvenile. Okay. Yeah. It just seemed like we had to have an attorney president with a robot meeting. I think I had two of those. I mean, hire somebody. <laughs> I could hire somebody to fill in for them. You know, okay. up until last year, he had a list of us. So I don't know if this. Well, it's. Uh, 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 say is, uh, don't, don't read what I'm saying wrong. I'm just yeah. I'm saying yeah. there's no big reasons he has to be gone. But should we have an attorney for him? Was there anything that you wanted to talk about on that today? Well, like I said earlier. I don't know if I should go or not. I don't want to think that I'm shrugging my duties. But uh, Pat said that he's not going down. And Mr. Bowman said that he was going down. 
Melissa said that she's going to have to leave the plastic over, and she said it's already over our hands. It's in the, the Topeka's hands now and what they come with. So I, I guess I'll make that decision Monday about 10 o'clock. Where am I going to go? I'm going to stay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. That is my area. That is my district. So I, I feel that I owe it to the taxpayers. I don't want to get drawn into something either. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And then she mentioned something about uh, that he's going to have witnesses if your name was cut down. Um, I think that she said you have a, an opportunity to have witnesses present and that she said she that, well, I don't think that I don't they had that. anybody but him. He was going to represent himself, is what I think she said. <coughs> they got a name. Uh, so if you, taxpayers along the township, are about so if you choose to go, they're not going to suddenly call you as a witness because you're not on that list. So I think you have protection from feeling like they're going to be drawn into it. Um, <coughs> Rightly or wrong, though. Well, one side said I should go, but then on the other side, being on the county commissioner, is that going to look like that the county's agreeing with them? And, and I don't know. I, I can't tell you whether which would be the right way. So. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll get my snicker. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm catching the cold. <laughs> okay, anybody else have anything? If not, do I hear a motion? Oh, well, one, one thing. I would, when we do get some prices, I would like to on be the bridges that oh. we're down to. You know, I would like to not so much meet uh, on a meeting day unless we do it in the morning. I would like to look at those bridges that we're going to replace to make sure. That you mean physically drive to them? Yes. Which, that was one thing I was suggested to, to Seth that I would like a map and if I get a rainy day, I want to physically go around, especially the ones in my district. I suggest you go to the ones in your district. If I have any questions, I think I'm even maybe going to go so far as talk to the township that they're in. Uh, if, if there looks like there's going to be a conflict with. We can take the workshop to say this, this week we're going to be in the truck that we're mm -hmm. going to. But I always See, I think the townships ought to have some plan. We're considering this. We're considering this bridge. Uh, yeah, is and maybe somebody down the road is going to say, "Why did you do that when you could have done this?" Well, I don't know. As you know, I know I can't in these areas uh, just say, "Oh yeah, that's that's the correct way." I physically want to go look. I I would like to go physically look before I start talking to the township, so I have some. You know, something to base it on. Yeah. Well, we probably should have another township county leader in the South Park. But that's sort of what we're going to ever get it across. Um, I, I don't know if we want to. Last time was a good one, but I think bringing Mr. Bowers, it got too big. We couldn't get focused enough on county townships. He was more into what the townships were expected to do, which they should have been aware of. But we need to kind of rein it in. Well, I think it was more geared to a statewide program of yes. what what your what they are obligated to do. Correct. But actually bringing it here, what do to we want? What what are we looking at? And bring it into the local level. Yeah. And which I thought Mr. Bowers was very informative, but and we don't want every meeting to be the same. We want a different focus, and I think that's where we well, all the two or three things we're planning on doing out there on these roads this year. We ought to bring up. You know, what we're talking about doing on the way to Lancaster and get their input. They may have some input we never thought of. Yeah. So well, that'd be a county road. But That's county road. Well, but yeah, okay. I, I didn't, I guess, the I, public in general, I guess. So. But the more we hear what their wants and needs are and the more direction that we think we should go, I think it needs to be, you know, heard from both sides. Yeah. Because we're in this together. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. I, I just kind of have a, a dread without actually having some local input on these bridges there that, okay, it might look obvious to us, and then after if we'd be started in on a project and people don't have an, uh, some input on it, we could be uh, 
strung up, <laughs> you know, or, or hindered. Well, with. I've been strung up before. I don't like it. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, uh, that's what my plan yeah. was. Should uh, each of us get two people that we think would be good from our district to kind of be on a, I hate starting with a board up, but like we're going this term, so. Yeah. You know, in my district, there really aren't any bridges, you know, so. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you, you get the fun of not, yeah. not having it. Yeah. <laughs> um, why don't we look at them individually and just preemptively and then kind of go from there? Well, let's look at it and see if we agree with these choices. Well, that's part of it. Or if there's, that's the reason I ask you for alternatives yes. is because, okay, if we're uncomfortable with one, we don't want to have to stop in the middle of the stream and, and, and go with another bridge. If we have something else that's like, okay, that's plan B, you know, we can go to that immediately without having to stop and restart. Of course, I kind of like people who swim upstreams mentality. <laughs> I mean, because they're the ones who are usually thinking in the future, you know, so. I, okay. I got one thing before reading paperwork. <laughs> Do we feel comfortable that our county associates and employees have the proper training in regard to sexual harassment in in, in in workplace environment. I'd say we're not, and the topic here in the last three weeks has been nothing but that. I don't know what we need to do to get some quick training, because the, the, the thresholds are not very, and I know that's a... Thank you for coming. It, yeah. Melissa, now Please question go. that Jamie's gone, or, um, uh, or a quick email or just... <laughs> Laying out some of the parameters. I can address the safety committee. Yeah. Okay. They have quarterly trainings, and that's something that's probably already out there. That's yeah. 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 I think it. I haven't seen any. I don't think anything offered since I've been here at the county. I'll say that there hasn't been, but you know. Um, I think there was a policy. Um, there may have been policy, but as far as training. Place, but as far as training. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think. But it could be a simple thing as I open the door for Mary Lou, and I don't open it for Betty. Yeah. I mean, a simple thing like that can cause you some problem. Right? Uh, I even, so far as went told my dad, I said, you know, when this is all happening, and it's like if I go into an office and I'm talking about personnel, if it happens to be with Michelle as a commissioner, and I close the door, and there's just two of us there, not that I have 100% faith in Michelle, but things happen or could be misconstrued or if it's not Michelle or I mean it's somebody else. Do we yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. So I mean it, it puts people in the awkward position of okay as a commissioner and you're addressing somebody you're uh, employees. And also, well, you must be yeah. discreet. Right. But then when you're discreet you're opening up I mean there's this balance that what well, then, we, if there is actually a reason, I mean, if someone feels like they've been arrested, what's the best way for them to report it? And timely. And I, timely I, I yeah. believe so much in the timely aspect of it, and I know that there's pressures on, uh, I'm talking about nationally again, yeah. you know, because uh, I know, know of no circumstances in the county, and I hope there are none. But w when things are happening 40 years ago, uh, it is so hard to disprove, you know, that even if you were 100% right and nothing happened, how do you disprove it? And then if, but then how do you not take the, the allegation seriously? No, we, we can get to a long conversation about that. Yeah. So, but we need to make sure our people are trained to react I, properly. I think that's a very timely yeah. subject. Yeah. So you'll bring it up to the safety committee. I'll, I'll email the, the head. I think that's being proactive. I think that's very good. If we're proactive, at least we're saying mm -hmm. we, we think it, it, people need to understand what the consequences are. Yeah. Okay, with that, do I hear a motion to adjourn at 2.34? I second it, Mr. Chairman. I second it. It's been moved and seconded to adjourn. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed? Pass 3-0. No, no. Is it counted? Okay. <laughs>